Delano, who's in the kitchen. You better believe it, Eric. Now on Bounce, we have the owner of Jive Turkey Legs back in the studio, Philip Weber, one of our favorites here to show us a new recipe, his Aaron Sini uh, risotto rice balls is yes. what you want to call them. And you're here to talk about a, a new venture as well, but let's get started right now. Thanks for being here, by the way. Oh, no problem. I yeah. enjoy let's, coming. Let's get started. What you got here? Okay, this is risotto. Um, okay. It's actually day-old risotto. Okay. You, have to, you can't use it the same day. Right. And what's the difference between risotto and rice? Risotto people... is a rice, but it's a creamier rice. It's an Italian rice. Okay. And uh, when it's cooked up, it takes a little more time because you use it in, usually make it in a saucepan. Mm -hmm. Using chicken stock, some seasoning, and it's very lengthy. You have to stand there and baby it and watch it. Right. So but what it's you delicious, do is, though, is yeah. very, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so much better than regular rice. Yes, okay. But once you make it, you need to refrigerate it for, you know, 24 hours so it cools down. Okay. And that makes it this consistency. And as you see, mm -hmm. no one really would want to eat that. Right. And a lot of people try to figure out, what do I do with risotto that's left over? I don't want to throw it away. Right. So you can make these rice balls with it. Okay. So I've taken one, I poke a hole in it. This is marinara sauce that I'm going to fill it with. Mm -hmm. And that's why you poke the hole in it. Just to put right. The okay. And then I just plug it. Now... You can fill these with bacon, ham, uh, mozzarella cheese, and it makes a molten-type mm. risotto ball. Wow. Okay. Then you roll it into flour, mm. and you egg wash. And it's very simple to make, too, right? It is. Yeah. It is. And you can season it as season the rice as you cook. Mm -hmm. Got a little breadcrumbs there? Yeah, regular breadcrumbs. Okay. You don't want to use panko. Okay. I was getting ready to ask you about that. Okay. So no panko is too thick? Too thick. Too thick, gotcha. Too heavy. All right. And believe it or not, it has a nice crunch anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know I've ever seen anybody actually use oil here and cook like this on many segments that I've done. This is awesome. It smells, yeah. That's why it smells so good in here. Yeah. And uh, now you got a new and initiative, too. And how long do you, how long you cook this for real This quick? only cooks a couple minutes. Okay. And you get it brown on both sides? And right, because the rice is already cooked. Uh, I got you. So it's going to be a good, nice little crunchy consistency there. Okay? Right. And uh, now you got a new initiative you're talking about, a uh, new venture called Book a Food Truck. Uh, what, what's that all about? Um, food truck owners, we have this same problem. How do people who are looking for book truck, book food trucks mm -hmm. find us? You can search Google, put in food trucks, and all you get is food trucks all over the United States, not really localized. And even okay. then, you don't find them all unless you know the name of the truck. Right. Well, Book a Food Truck is designed to allow food truck owners to join the site. They get their own page, their own contact form. It really cuts out the middleman mm -hmm. of someone trying to find, a, find you for another client. Right. So they can go on this uh, website and contact, say, my truck that's on there, mm -hmm. and fill out the contact form about all the details of the, uh, of the event they have in mind. Right. And then I get that information. No one else gets it. I get it. Uh, and that yeah. way I can communicate directly with the event planner. Oh, that's and there's great. No com there's no lack of communication or miscommunication. Mm -hmm. yes. And it works. And that, that's the, <laughs> that sounds like an awesome way to do that. You know? Well, we appreciate this. This is a, do, Should I taste something here? Brigitte, yeah, join us? definitely or, should taste, taste something. Mm -hmm. So you actually put the, that you? down as well? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just pick one. Oh, fresh on, basil. Decorate it a little okay. bit. And let you plate it real quick. Oh, wow. And then put up the information where you can mm. find... Uh, Food truck, uh, book of food yeah. truck. Actually, um, or it is. more about uh, Jive Turkey Legs. Got a website, jiveturkeylegs.com. Uh -huh. On Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see all the information there. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Delano, come on. Oh, We're oh, counting down here. That is delicious. Thank you for watching yeah, uh, tonight, folks. <laughs> <laughs>